Creepers, what's up you guys? Happy Friday to you. Coming to you from Riverview Cemetery. That's right, this is the third time I've been up here. Um, this has got a really, really cool amount of history and a lot of pioneers from Portland, a lot of people that have paid respects to their country, uh, Vietnam War, World War II, um, you name it, um, they're buried here. So I figured I'd bring you guys back up here and let you guys in on another little Portland Portland story. Um, so I titled the thumbnail Grave Robbery in Oregon. And the reason why I titled that is because it's a real deal. Um, it's one of Oregon's only grave robberies and it happened right here, right here in Riverview Cemetery. Now, if you guys haven't watched my other vlogs from up here, please go back. Uh, watch the dead ball with Carl Mays. I really found that one to be interesting and I also found the grave of Henry Weinhardt. So this is a beautiful cemetery and I wanted to share this little story with you guys of William S. Ladd. William S. Ladd was a pioneer of Oregon and helped pave the way for other people and other people of significance of Oregon and not to mention he was one of the first founders of this cemetery um, but there's an interesting story about William S. Ladd William S. Ladd's body was actually stolen from his grave here at Riverview Cemetery and I wanted to first show you this little monument that they have set up for him um, explaining more about what he's done for Oregon and then I want to show you the actual grave site of where the first grave robbery happened and then I'll tell you guys in detail as to how it happened and the story behind that but let's let's walk over here for a minute and check out this little monument that they have established for William S. Ladd it's a little bench here right in the heart of the cemetery and if you guys can see here, it's got his description of his name. Born October 10th, 1826, laid to rest January 6th, 1893. So this is definitely a beautiful little tribute that they've paid respect for him. And if I pawn over here to the front of this bench, it will give you guys a little bit more of um, a back history of who William S. Ladd is. Um, so I'm going to read it kind of slow here. Um, William S. Ladd sailed for Oregon from New York in 1851 at age 24. Determination and hard work brought rapid success to his mercantile business, which was further strengthened by forming a partnership with Charles Tilton, a San Francisco businessman. In 1859, they formed Ladd and Tilton Bank, a bank that played a large part in the growth and industrialization of Portland. In 1853, he was elected to the Portland City Council and in 1854 became the mayor. He was active in real estate, owning many lots and buildings in Portland and numerous farms around the state. He once controlled three quarters, owning many lots and entire flour milling businesses in Pacific Northwest and controlling interest in Oregon's railway and navigation company. Renowned for his honesty, it was said of him that his word was as good as another man's bond. As known as a friend of churches and charities, his gifts and donations were many, including establishing several scholarships at Willamette University and providing strong support for the Portland Library Association. Along with several other Portland pioneers, he helped establish the Riverview Cemetery Association and served as the first vice president of the Board of Trustees from 1883 until 1892. So, like I said, you guys, he definitely uh, did a lot of work and paved the way for a lot of people here in Oregon. So, let's go check out his actual headstone and where they laid him to rest and the actual very first site of Portland's very first and only grave robbery. So, here is William S. Ladd's actual headstone. As you guys can see, it's, it's fairly big. Um, and comparatively to most of the other headstones, it's, you know, kind of the length of a body, which I found interesting. 
Um, and there's a backstory of this and it goes, you know, throughout the years there's been limited vandalism, but Portland was shocked and officials of the cemetery were dumbfounded when the one and only grave robbery occurred. William S. Ladd, one of the founders of the cemetery and one of Portland's leading citizens of all time, was buried at Riverview Cemetery January 9, 1893. And on Tuesday morning, May 18, 1897, a gardener noticed the grave of William S. Ladd had been opened. The top lifted off the wooden box, the metal coffin cut inside in three parts, and the body was missing. Later on, good detective work resulted in the discovery of the body on the west bank of the Willamette, which is known as McAdam Avenue, and the arrest of four men involved was made the following Friday. The body and grave marker, which had been taken for identification in ransom demands, were now returned to the cemetery. Reburial was not sufficient. It was made certain that Ladd's remains would never be disturbed again. After the box was closed, the grave was filled with cement instead of earth, and guards stood by day and night until the cement hardened. So that's definitely kind of a kind of a cool, kind of a creepy, weird Portland backstory, but it happened right here, right as we're standing. So. If you can imagine coming up here in the early mornings and seeing, you know, one of the headstones moved or one of the the sides of one of these gravestones messed with and notice it had been open and the casket inside had been misplaced and the body was actually missing, I just find that just super crazy and interesting and cool and so thank thankfully his body was returned, but as we stand here, as you guys can see, there was cement poured over his bones, that way no one could ever get in there again. Um, but yeah, he definitely played a huge role in Portland and I just thought that that story was, was really cool. Um, not to mention just the backstory of how everything in, in Oregon has come across. It just finds me, it just, I'm so interested in, in different old history and weird stories like that that tie in with Oregon. So. I figured I'd take you guys back up here for the third time and I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I find it to be very interesting. So with that being said, Creeper out for now. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you haven't hit that like button, please do. Um, and please hit that bell. That way you guys can creep with me more often, all right? So from Riverview Cemetery and the grave of William Sergeant Ladd, this is Creeper, and I'm out for now. I'll give you guys one more shot here.